Hello, this is MakerJ11, and this is my oscilloscope that I've had for a while. This is my good one, my big huge one that always sits on the desk right here. Um, this is a Nicolette Pro 32 oscilloscope. It was made in 1993, which is two years before I was born, actually. Um, so, yeah. So that would mean it's uh, 20 years old then, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's no SMD components in here. It's all um, just um, dip components. So you've got lots of different chips in here. I have no clue what all these are. Probably a lot of these are like RAM and stuff like that. This one's a Sony made in Japan. And we've got lots of different manufacturers. Logic. DTI. I don't even know that one. And there's actually a lot of bodgery in here too. <laughs> like there's some over here too. And there's a resistor just stuck on the top of that chip. <laughs> it's kind of weird. A lot of these over here kind of look like they might be logic chips, but I'm not really sure. So, but it has, it's a two channel scope. Um, I believe it's 20 megahertz, but I'm not really sure. It's got a nice big tube there, um, and then, so here's your power supply. This thing uses 450 watts, so it heats up the room quite nice. It has two nice big fans here that um, blow the air in and out to keep it nice and cool. These chips actually get quite warm when it's operating. And then this is the board right here that drives the tube, and I think this is the main CPU board underneath the... Um, because this wire here is marked CPU, um, but I'm not really sure. So, yeah, it's got a nice big beefy power supply over there. This is kind of the board for the control panel. And then you have your two channels, um, your floppy drive, some regulators or something down there. But, yeah, not too much to it inside, just a lot of... Um, uh, through hole components and old chips <laughs> so it's pretty nice in here though so it's got a lot of room and it's really heavy but the frame is so it's all welded aluminum um, it's a good sturdy frame so let's power it up and I'll show you how it operates so but I even have the uh, manual for this which is really nice and it even has the certificate certificate of calibration, which is kind of cool. There's the technician that um, that uh, certified it, and it was due for 1995, year I, the year I was born. Huh, neat. But yeah, so he has. Uh, 23 degrees centigrade, and I guess that's humidity. So, and the serial number matches as well. I did check that. But yeah, I've got the whole manual here and everything. I haven't really read through it. I just kind of poke around with it and figure it out as I go. I don't really <laughs> use the manual much, but if there's something that I can't figure out, sometimes I'll look it up. But um, but yeah, so it it's a really nice scoop. I like it a lot. It does a good job, so. Um, but it has a lot of different settings. Um, you can have it even, like, it'll auto set up. Um, it has a signal here, which is, I think it's like a one megahertz signal or something. Um, so if you put your lead on here. So there's the signal. Now if I mess this up. So let me just turn this way up the voltage way up to 120 volts. You can't even see the signal now. It has an auto setup button. So you push this and it'll goes through all the settings. You can hear relays clicking in there. And there you go, you've got your signal. So it's it's got kind of neat function there. I don't use it that much, but sometimes for like square waves I'll use it for random signals, so it's not very good, <laughs> obviously. Um, but um, so yeah, I mean it's Really nice scope. 
can go up to 100, 120 volts, and down to like some millivolts or something. Yeah, 30 millivolts. So, yeah. Um, but two channel. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about it. I could show you the. It has a learn function as well. You can um, basically you do start learn, and then you do a bunch of settings. So if I adjust the position and the voltage, and then I click stop learn, and then I do execute batch, or then I change the settings and I do execute batch, it'll set set the settings back to the um, the settings I had when I did start learn. It's kind of neat function for if you have a bunch of different settings you want to um, uh, you want to cycle through you can do the learn function which is kinda neat um, but I think you have to if you want to do a whole bunch I think you need to save them on the floppy drive and also it resets if you um, shut it off because it doesn't have enough memory I guess so <laughs> yes you need need a floppy drive to if you want to save it very long doesn't show very good on the camera, but um, so I'll just show what the system about uh, execute. So 12 bit, whatever that means, 20 megahertz. Um, yeah, and so not too much there. <laughs> You can do like front panel test, and you can actually like if I turn the knobs, you can see that it moves on there. Or push the buttons, it just tests the front panel. <laughs> it's a weird, neat function, I guess, if you want to make sure everything's working on the front panel. So, <laughs> but yeah, so this is my oscilloscope. Looks pretty nice. It's getting nice and warm in here. But yeah, it's a good oscilloscope. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.